If you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. He can help you guys get Diamond Kyrie Irving, Diamond Brandon Roy, or just about any card you guys need in this game. So be sure to click that link in the description and hit him up now. What is up guys today we are back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to win a lot of games here in triple threat online Now this video is dropping at a very big time here guys because if you I'm sure you guys have already probably seen a lot of the different videos that have already been or ha that have been made already um but if you guys don't know maybe you guys are just a bio exclusive channel which maybe maybe you guys are maybe you guys aren't but we are going to be getting a gauntlet chris bosch guys that is going to be centered around only completing triple threat online it is going to be the very first thing that we are getting here and again basically what this means guys is that we are going to be getting a again a thing here i'm pulling it up for you guys obviously to see on the screen here um but yeah you guys are going to see this right now we are going to be i'm going to be showing you guys that we are getting a chris bosch um card a diamond chris bosch card that is only for the only way to get him is by completing 15 triple threat online games in a row so you guys have to win 15 games of triple threat online in a row now is this going to be possible for a lot of people no and i'm going to be straight up honest because the reason why this is going to be kind of annoying is because one you're going to have all the sweats out i mean you even if you guys get to 10 11 12 playing a lot of these games like you're eventually gonna run into one of these guys that is going to be able to basically never miss a shot and it's just going to be frustrating but i'm going to be giving you guys a video here of how i've had success in this mode and hopefully this does help you guys out you guys can see my record is 16 and 1 in triple threat online virtually did this i'm pretty sure i actually lost my first game that i ever played of triple threat so i think as of right now i'm on a 16 streak i could be wrong either way though i'm going to be showing you guys how to again win more of these games so first things first guys your most important thing that i want you guys to pay attention to is to go into your lineup screen and go to this menu right here okay the reason why this is important is because this is where you guys are going to access your coach and i mean yeah it's literally just your coach but this does matter guys um you know as far as you know triple threat goes as well like people don't know that it, i mean some of you guys probably set your lineups up right away and you know you guys have probably made different lineups or whatever but this is based off of you know again your original lineup here so make sure one you guys do change your coach you guys can see i do have mike brown and all you guys have to do is score seven times in a row so obviously you know if you score you know back to back threes and then you miss a layup like that does count and it will not obviously let your coach go if you are using mike brown but your coach does matter again to make sure you guys are using the right coach on your lineup i actually was not using mine for the first couple of games i was playing so just another tip right there but let's get into the team though guys and what i you know think is the best way again to go about this so first things first guys the most important one is going to be your big man okay your big that you guys use in this is going to be key because you guys are going to be matching up with a lot of anthony davis's a lot of shacks and just a lot of bigs that are going to be really solid in this mode um and now the most important thing i would say guys very honestly is that you guys are using a guy that is versatile in rebounding can shoot the ball because that is going to be pretty crucial as well but also going to be big enough to be able to hold again guys like Shaq. now the number one option that comes to mind guys is this man right here jaron jackson jr i love this card a lot obviously if you guys have been watching a lot of my videos and a lot of my streams you guys know jaron jackson jr by far one of my favorite cards in this game especially from a budget standpoint again versatile he's six foot ten has a really good wingspan but also is able to snag boards block shots and most importantly shoot threes now again it's really important to shoot threes guys in this game because going up against a lot of different opponents you guys are going to want you know the ability to space the floor because a lot of times if you guys don't do that a lot of times all your opponent is going to do is just sit in the paint and try to look pretty while you basically struggle to score because your guy is just sitting on the wing now again if you guys are matching up against guys with Shaq that's kind of an advantage Shaq cannot do anything unless he's in the paint problem is once Shaq gets in the paint it is next to impossible of trying to stop him but that is again where having a guy like jaron jackson jr does come into play now the higher the strength on this card the better and the obviously more success you guys will have but again i will show you guys some in-game play tips in just a second 
Now, the second player you guys are going to want is a good wing player, guys. This is going to be a nice 3 and D option that, again, simply put, can play some lockdown defense for you, but also be able to shoot the ball. Now, there are some other good options in this game. Like, again, Ron Artest is a free card if you guys did get the exchange thing. I, again, I'm not entirely sure if it was based on pre-orders only or whatever. Um, but he was available in an option pack, which I know a lot of people did take. So again, Ron Artest is a prime example for this. But again, I'm going to be going with a guy like OG Ananobi. Again, another card I absolutely love. He is a lock-in reward. So it doesn't really take too, too much to get him. And he is super solid, man. Definitely one of the more underrated cards still in this game. So we're going to be using him in this video. Final option, guys. Final player is going to be your go-to scorer. So... You know, guys like Devin Booker, guys like Mike Miller, Ruby Kyle Korver, Kyrie Irving, Brandon Jennings, even a lot of really good options here. Even Sapphire Steph. This is going to be the guy that you guys are going to be mainly running your offense through. Now, I know some people are going to run bigger lineups where they might run, you know, two wings and a center. You guys can do that. That is, again, where I do feel like the advantage of having a Devin Booker does kind of come into play. But I'm going to be using Kyrie. I really like Kyrie in triple threat. And honestly, like he does get a good amount of stops. So we are going to be going ahead and using him. But again, guys, the reason why this team works is because you guys are using, again, a guy that you could score through constantly. You know you can green. You know you could do whatever with him. You have a wing player that you can also, again, guys, this is super important, that he's going to be able to shoot threes off of a pick and fade. Now, I know that might be like, oh, duh, like, you know, anybody can do that. You're right. But again, these guys are really important. And like, if you were to, you know, use this for a guy like Dylan Brooks, like Dylan Brooks would not be a better, you know, a good option for this mainly because again, he doesn't really have that wingspan. Um, and his jump shots a little wonky at times, but that's why, again, I do like a guy like Ron Artest for this. I mean, Jabari Smith jr. I do like, I don't think he's the best option. Um, but I mean, Hey, he is a little bit taller and maybe he does help you guys in the, you know, guarding pick and roll game or whatever. Um, but let's get into some in-game tips though. And so I can show you guys how I've been able to succeed. Now, fair warning. If I do end up losing my first game or whatever, I have full transparency. I'm going to be showing you guys this. The only reason why I'm letting you guys know this right now is I did just get home from work. Have not played this game yet today. My shot might be a little off. That might cause me to lose. My defensive rotations might be a little off overall. You guys will see what happens, though. All right. So our opponent has Chris Paul, Drazen Petrovic, and Cam Whitmore. So you guys can see he is going with that, you know, wing style lineup or whatever, which is cool. I mean, again, this is going to be, I don't want to say a guaranteed win, but I'm going to be breaking this down exactly, guys, what you guys want to be paying attention to. Now, of course, Kyrie Irving just apparently does not have any idea what floor spacing is. But this is why, again, guys, having a big really is going to help. Now, it may be cheesy. People may, you know, not like it or whatever. But, hey, we're not here to please other people. We're here to get some wins. Now, again, good D from Kyrie right there. Again, that's what I was saying before, guys. Kyrie, not even the worst at defense. And here's a big thing, guys. We're going to keep taking our points in the paint when we can get them. Now, if you guys are going up against a three-point cheeser where this guy is obviously just, you know, whoever is just spamming threes, going crazy or whatever. Now, obviously, like, that is going to get very annoying. But once again, Kyrie Irving holding his own there. And on top of that, we are going to be able to go ahead and get a nice little easy stop right there from Jaron Jackson Jr. Now, why my whole team is collapsing, I do not know. We will take that. But again... You guys just want to look to obviously take advantage of whatever mismatch you guys can. I mean, I'm sure there are people that are going to be like, oh, yo, you just, you know, you should just spam this or spam this, whatever. Like, I don't like necessarily cheesing. I mean, it's really not my preferable play style. Like, I, I trust me, it is very easy to just sit here and shoot shots like that all game. Um, you can do that. I mean, that's obviously a viable option. You guys can go with the ISO at the top of the key, but my number one thing guys is just taking advantage of mismatches and getting scores when you guys can. That is the biggest thing about succeeding here in triple threat. So like, for instance, like I said, this game that I'm playing right now, if I was struggling to score, we have that automatic mismatch with Jaron Jackson Jr. in the paint. And that's what we're going to keep taking advantage of. I'm also doing it because of whatever that XP thing is. I don't know what that is, but I am, or not XP, but whatever the challenges he just kind of cooked me i won't even lie um but yeah so again you know this isn't really the greatest opponent to kind of show you guys my tips on and everything just because like he's obviously not the best but again you know just taking advantage of wide open looks you know taking advantage of mismatches and everything that is what you guys want to do now i will say this too another really big tip that i do have for you guys 
is on the defensive end, make sure that you guys do switch your primary defender on the primary score that the other team does have. So again, hitting L1, hitting, you know, whatever icon you want to. I, you guys can see I just put OG on to Chris Paul. Doing this is going to really help shut a lot of people down because especially in triple deck, guys, people get flustered very fast and they do tend to give up very fast in these games. And you guys will be able to, once again, get easy wins. As long as you're greening, as long as you're doing what you have to be doing, you guys will be getting very, very you know easy wins now again i'm not i'm not basing this off of just one game i mean you guys could see my record and obviously this is what i do every single game it just works now i could have taken that three but like i said i do want to actually get whatever this challenge thing is done so we're going to just keep taking points in the paint to go ahead and get that done um but you guys can see we're getting our open looks we're doing our op or our thing you know again og on that primary defender or primary ball handler excuse me and right here again we're contesting another shot that shot's gonna be off we'll take that board we're gonna run all the way with Kyrie here actually i lied we're gonna step this back give it to og og's gonna slam it home for a nice little uh you know agenda completion thing or whatever um and i do apologize because i just realized that my webcam does not have a delay on it so my voice and everything is going to be a little bit ahead of the gameplay um which again i do apologize about um but yeah Again, guys, triple threat really isn't all that hard. It's really just, again, about taking points when you guys can get them, taking advantage of mismatches, and most importantly, guys, greening your shots. I'm telling you right now, you're going to need to know how to green if you guys are going to want to win 15 games in a row of triple threat online. And that's basically it, guys. Like I said, on defense, take advantage of anybody that can't shoot. I know people are going to be like, oh, you're telling people to off ball, blah, 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 blah. Not necessarily what i'm saying i just want you guys to be able to even make a run against some of these crazy crack teams so again if you guys do see a shack if you do see a ruby Giannis, and ruby Giannis can shoot but most people can't agree with him so again it's all about just taking advantage of what you can i mean you guys can see we missed one shot this entire game and i don't even i think it was like a th yeah it was a three obviously but yeah i mean again it, it's just simple repetition i feel like it's the same thing every single year in my team so again i hope these tips do help you guys out i hope you guys i wish you guys the best on trying to win all these games in a row because this is going to get pretty brutal man i mean trying to win you know like i said trying to get 15 straight wins gonna be a little bit of a doozy man so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed w uh, 100 mt don't even know where that's from Oh, the San Antonio Spurs, man. Let's go. A Spurs pack. Woo!